Okay, so hello everybody. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the first uh, mass production sample of Newspeak, as well as the Deluxe Edition. Um, this game's been in the waiting for quite a while now, and uh, we're finally quite excited to very soon be getting that out and uh, to all of our people that backed us on Kickstarter, and that also means that soon it'll be on our store. So first of all, uh, I think it'd probably make more sense to look at the base game. We've also got um, just to, so you know, the Deluxe Edition basically comes with the Rated Expansion um, as well as a couple of other things, but we'll get into that in a moment. So first of all, we've got the base game of Newspeak. Um, so with this game, um, you typically, so you'll pay for three to eight players. It takes about 45 minutes to play and um, basically you're going to be trying to code break what the other players are uh, trying to say so you can work out what location um, they are at and yeah so let's take a look inside so as you can see first of all we've got the moderator handbook here that's essentially your rule book um, it's got quite a matte finish uh, it's made to look like one of those like uh, old style um, manuals used to get um, even with some of the print effects actually on the images so it looks quite uh, old in style so there's that and then next of all we have the uh, code sheets for the moderators so this is basically so you can um, discover and try and figure out which uh, sorry, it's the distance. It's, sorry, it's the dissident um, code set sheets. So basically, you'd use different words to uh, decipher which location you're at. So, for instance, uh, safe. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think you'd get the point anyway. Um, but these are whiteboard markers. So you can basically, these would be uh, ticked off with a pen. Um, and yeah. Then, next of all, um, we have the targeting dials. And these are used to decide what code set you're going to use. So you would say um, code set six. So you decide which one you're going to do and then you'd basically just follow that code set. As you can see in the box you get enough so that there's four distance on one side it's got a very cool little like dial on the back as you can see then of course we've got the pens they've got the uh, branding of the uh, if my camera decides to focus it might actually help it out here a bit okay so you've got modnet which is the evil uh, overlords of the game, essentially. But these are your pens. Uh, then you've got your code cards. Let's open these up. There's quite a few of those in there, obviously. Got a very nice print effect on them. Don't know how well it's going to come from the camera. And then you have your location cards. And there are 24 locations in the game. And then you have basically the mod net side, which is like before it's been um, liberated. And then the liberated side, which is obviously a lot more colorful with some really lovely artwork on there. You also have these two little uh, egg timers. which is basically how uh, the rounds are structured. So you'd uh, flip these. I can't actually remember what the specific time is um, for these egg timers, but yeah. That's how the round structure goes. 
And then last but not least in the main box, we've got the lead hacker token, which is essentially your first player marker, which is this little one here, um, as well as these little numbers, which I will remember in a second, and then I'll add it and I'll flash it on the screen. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I'll flash what these little numbers mean on the screen. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, and so that was the base game. And then next of all, we have the deluxe edition of the game. So I'm gonna move the camera down a little bit. Sorry about that. So here's the deluxe edition. The deluxe edition, first of all, you'll notice it has a cool little effect print effect on the uh, front cover, which the base game does not. That's just a, one of the little things that it has. And then the main difference is what's inside of the actual box. So let's get that open. Dun, dun, dun. So just as you can see straight out of the box, we've got the rated expansion um, rule book, well, rule pamphlet. It's very cool. As well as, once again, we've got the handbook. Uh, this is the Sabotage expansion. And once again, you've got your um, code sets. And then you've got your, so this is your rated expansion um, with these little five star things. So with these uh, star systems. And here are the pens. And then you've got your location cards. Nothing much different there. Then you've got your identity card with the deluxe edition. Which is what I believe is part of Sabotage. And then, oh, these are coming unraveled, that's fine. Yep, then you've got all of your targeting dials made of a really, like I said, really high quality um, cardboard with both uh, the, this has got the rated edition. Um, these are the rated edition dials, so they actually work with the expansion as well. So you can't actually have, you have to buy the deluxe edition for the expansion dials. And then once again, we've got egg timers. And then code cards. So yeah, that is uh, Newspeak. So we're very excited to get Newspeak finally out there. Um, it's Like I said, it's gone to print now, so hopefully that it won't be too much further than it's getting uh, air freighted over. So everyone that's backed it on Kickstarter, you'll be getting it very soon, hopefully. Um, you can also pre-order it now. There's also going to be a link down below for you to pre-order it. So that was the unboxing of Newspeak. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Don't forget to uh, slap that like button and um, follow us on all of our social medias. Those will once again be down in the description. Uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. So uh, thank you very much guys and see you later.